Hello folks, welcome back. We've just gone through the rust wells, gone back to Joppa and got us... Oh no, forgot about that. Fungus growth, jeez. Um, gone back to Joppa. Got our stuff. You know, got the Joppa recoiler, got the new quest for the thing. And now we're gonna make our way towards... Oops. Oh, there's a... Glow Crow boss. Oh, and there are yeah, and there are dong gliders, but it's friendly. Oh yeah, we are actually with winged animals, right? We had we did something with winged animals. Let's see, where are we factions? Birds, two hundred and fifty. Yeah, don't care about you. Was there another thing with winged animals? Winged mammals? Hmm. They don't care about... like, it's in the minus, but it's not too bad. Tortoises like us. Dogs like us. Yeah, but at least the dong glider over there is not hostile. And that's all that matters. Hey, there's a haunt chameleon. Take that one out. Another haunt chameleon. Take that one out. Entrance into the underworld. Hey, salt hopper. Come after me. Okay. Boom. Cleaved. How oh, the dog killed the f the salt hopper. Well, whatever. Um, where are we now? Yeah, we are here. That's that works. We have to just go around the fungus patch. That is all. There's a lot of garbage here. Let's just keep going north. There is stunned. Okay, there's a Kindle thumbed dude. Get these guys out. Come closer. Don't set me on fire. I mean, I think he just murdered himself with the steam. Ooh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, yeah? Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's just gonna be a bit more Desert Canyon here. Grabbed by the Jilted Lover. We can just take the path, actually. That's nice. North. Salty water. And a bridge across. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going north. I think we'll find some more snap jaws on the way or something. Like these guys, for example. And the salt hopper would still give us decent experience. Leather apron. Okay. Seed spitting vine, which I'm not a fan of, but okay. Feathered woven tunic. Huh. Where are we now? Yeah, we're getting close. Let's find it ourselves. Beat a bracelet. Good. See? That's what I'm looking for. Two-handed sword. No. Another sword hopper. Gladly gonna take out. Snapjaw fort. Okay, there's a snapjaw fort around here. Which... Oh, hmm. We could just... Whoops. Could just do this. Shannon a good quadrangle. Oh, the Snapjaw Fort is one higher. You know, let's go to the Snapjaw Fort and see if we can find a weapon or two there. Sometimes you find steel stuff here. So, Fire Snarler. So he's all about the fire, aren't you? I am all about the freeze. Okay. With Batals changed by miners, oh dear. Succulents, Seekers of the Sightless Way. Okay, you don't really have anything. I mean, I would already be good with a steel weapon. A steel axe. You murdered yourself with that thing? Okay, I don't like that we are... Uh, hmm. Let's see what happens with the Batals if we can't get the quests from them. If our reputation is bad, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is a bad idea or not. We're gonna see. Oh, he has a carbide short sword. 
I'm just gonna pick that up. We're not gonna use it, but uh, there are also no. There's also nothing around, like no no chests or anything in here. This is a bit of an underwhelming settlement, I must say. Okay, well, so much for that. Leave away the ball. Yeah. Hmm. Well, then let's go to the quadrangle. Chenemo good quadrangle. It's pretty good. All right. Visit the thing and uh oh, uh -huh. hello. Uh, is it is a charis around here? Okay. These guys are. Stop shooting me. Luckily, they are about as good at shooting as fucking stormtroopers. Well, let's wait here and let them come over to us. There you go. Desert rifle. Desert rifle. And desert rifle. And another glow moth. And they are also... Oh yeah, <laughs> the glow moths are flying outside, of course. And there's a gershling. Hey Gersh, haven't seen you in a while. Something exploded there. The weird artifact. Yeah, okay, that was. Oops, there's a dude. It was a grenade. Who are you? Grenadier. Huh, elastine gloves. Interesting. Steel utility knife. Doesn't really have anything that we need, but I'm just gonna murder him. Maybe that's a bad idea? No. No, it's not. Okay, let's see. We got a bunch of weird artifacts, which are... Let's just pick that up. Drug grenades, I guess. And a bunch of oil. You know? Let's pick up a bunch of oil, why not? I don't know if we can use it, but... Um, well, let's take a look at the weird artifacts. You're all grenades. Stun gas. Sleep gas. Thermal. EMP. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can use some of that stuff. Oh, the elastine gloves are pretty... Pretty light, which is good. So we can just lug them around for a bit. Oh no. Thing is, we cannot attack the glow moths in melee. Good thing we have the freezing hands. What do we have here? To Modatis, the rhythmic ghost. A corrupt administrator was appointed minister of the bad worship in show and all of the practice of hoarding. We have seen that before. Hoarding atomic clocks. But there were books here. Yes. Needs you for an infinite number. Yeah, I also need you for an infinite number. The Flower Volume 1. I would read that. I wonder what the Flower Volume 2 is. Was there another snap jaw? No, that was just boots. <laughs> well, you know. Easy mistake to make. You stop whatever you're doing. I'm interested in your desert rifle, but a uh, glow moth. It's a charis. Glowfish. <laughs> Glowfish is a member of the of that cult. Took a metal folding chair, which we can drop at some point. But you know, whatever. For now it's not a Ah the the one thing is still counted as target. No, it isn't. Okay, good. All right. Of the sect of the Wall of Cash. Mm hmm. I only take cash. Okay, let's kill those in melee. Because we need our freezing hands for the glow moth. Do you have anything good? No, you don't. Yeah, this seems to be... You know, a lot of books and maybe we can find a good artifact. Often these artifacts aren't all that great. Usually... They are often, like, not even items that you can use. Oh, there's a lot of fresh water here. Well, let's just pick it up, why not? We can still carry a lot of stuff, so... It doesn't matter all that much. Um, okay, there's another another shrine surrounded by trees. 
try into Named. One auspicious day, Named wins the falling star. I think we already know that about the telescopes. And there's the entrance. Good. I'm gonna go down there soonish. And we have explored the rest, which isn't a lot anymore. Yes. That is pretty much it. There's still some stuff here in the middle. Maybe there are some more books or something around, so... Okay. Oh, there's another shrine. See? Something's there. Shrine to Mudatus II. Clock worshipping, language in captivity for eight years. Yes, we have seen that before. Another metal folding chair, which I'm not interested in. A bit of fence. Oh, and some Isacharis. Thing is, they don't really give us experience anymore, so... And a bunch of trash. Okay. Alright. Let's go down. Let's go down and see what we can find in this historic site. I'm uh, looking forward to this. Sure am. For some reason we're burning. Oh no, the dragonfly is attacking us. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Jeez. Talk right, Jay. Talk right. You. The good thing is now that we're underground, we can attack the the flying enemies in the old-fashioned way, which is good. No, what? Let's eat the glowfish corpse. Oh no, we have just eaten something apparently. Jilted lovers, kudzus. Not really a lot of interesting stuff down here, I must say. Bunch of rather trivial enemies, eh? As I sort of are. But other than that, eh. Let's see, maybe we can find some cool stuff. And you know, sooner or later we're gonna find the artifact, I guess. So. Always something to look forward to. Still would like to find some good weapons. You know? I mean, I would be content just upgrading to steel for now. Because we have a strength bonus cap of two, I think. And that's really sort of bottlenecking us right now. Those snap just don't have anything. Oh no, there's a black thing. Black gel. Ah, it's counted as tough. Have to be careful not to get oozed. Yeah, it dies. You have a lot of experience though. Ah. Sewage eel. Okay, need to keep okay, that was hmm. Interesting for this early in the game. All right. Okay, let's explore the rest. Oh, chain gun. No, no, it's a musket turret. Okay. No, it was chain gun turret. Whew. Good thing I froze it. Mutation point. Carapace. Doom. Doom? Uh, I don't know. I like Doom. I like playing Doom. Yeah, we're gonna get weathered at some point. Um... Do you need any of those? No, 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 no. Ah, I think we can just save that up for now. Let's just save that up for now. Okay, there are the musket turrets. The one musket turret destroyed the other musket turret. That was not a very good strategic placement of those. Two drums of what? Oh, putrescence. I hope that wasn't bad. I thought it was just slime, but it was putrescence. Hmm. I hope we didn't infect ourselves with some garbage there. Cloth overalls. Okay, let's go down. Liminal floor. 
Oh yeah, there's a glow moth and a shrine. We need to hack ourselves through the fence here. And a ton of these guys. Come on. Good thing is we can just cleave away, and that works. Oh yeah. So, let's see. Shrine to Gira Tafa. Throughout 18, rampage through all the... I think we've seen that before, yes. We've seen a lot of stuff before. Getting many new things anymore. Dismembered. Bloody leech's tail. Let's eat it. Mmm, the leech tail. Delish. Okay. Fresh water. I think we're... Yeah, we're pretty much full. Okay, we, we could use some more water skins. Good to know. Pick some up at some point. We have here vine wafers and a copper nugget. I'm gonna leave the copper nugget. We have enough copper nuggets. Oh, crab. Get the legs. There's another shrine here. Freeze you, cleave you, dismember you. You know, the stuff you do. Oh yeah, we have to be careful about the electrofuges. They are... They are a little rough. Okay. 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 Stairs down, what is this? A bean of monkey braid. Hmm. Uh, oh, and the slumbering. The baboon. I'm gonna kill the baboon. And destroy its corpse. I'm gonna leave the slumbering over there. Is this putrescence again? Yeah. It is. And water. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go down. Let's keep going down. Still haven't found the thing, so... Seed spitting vine and a bunch of... Centipedes. They don't give us a lot anymore. And more Sacharis. Honey skunk dies, everything dies. I think the jilted lover killed the honey skunk. Giratafa! Captured by bandits. Yeah, writing out the annals of history. We've already seen that. That's still the best way to murder someone, is to just write them out of the annals of history. It's awesome. Beat a bracelet, good. Take that. Still have not found anything resembling a better weapon. But you know. Okay, there isn't much more here. There is something behind these walls. We can't get there. So, let's keep going down. Slumbling falls asleep. Okay. So, there is a slumbling around. Oh, hello. Oops. There was a rifle turret. We're ready to freeze it. Yes. Rest up here. Yeah? We took a bunch of shots there. Now we are kind of close to that thing. That was, was always a problem. Like if you just run into a chain gun turret, that's not good. Oh, hi. Let's just stay here. So that we can take them out one by one. The right foot of Mirthworm. So they have feet. Interesting. Let's eat the right foot. Meow. Destroy everything so that the target is going away. Because that's always annoying. And let's continue. Okay. Giant amoeba. Oh, this is slime. Yeah, this is slime, not putrescence. 
Okay. Hey you, honey skunk. And books! Whose shell? That's the name of my new rap album. Okay. Children lovers, I think that's just a yeah. That was just a copper nugget. Not interested in that. But I am interested in those books. Man Rodan is Y Towers Over. Good book. Base quickness score is zero. Good. Some tutorial books here. Uh what the hell is this? Quantum Rippler. Okay. There's a Huh, can we destroy those? No, we can't. Hmm. Interesting. Ah ho! Slumbling. I'm gonna try it. They frozen us, asshole. How are we doing? Very tough. It's injured. Let's back into hibernation. Freezing effect. Cleave a bit and Slumberling's dead. Alright, yeah, we can take them on, but I'd <laughs> if they did attack us, that would probably have become a problem. There's a glow pad. And there's this temple vortex that I kind of don't want to go into. I mean, it, it would certainly be interesting, but uh, I intend this run to be a longer run. We could actually come back here at some point and just run into the thing and see what happens. I mean, that would be fun. Once we are strong enough to survive other places of the world, that is. What do we have here? Dust particles suspended in thin air. It's um, an epic poem. The world just wasn't ready for. Keep these guys in there. Ah, I know, this thing is targeted again. Okay. Um, have we seen down? Yeah, there are stairs down. Oh, Okay. Spider. Glow moth. Uh, they do quite a bit of damage, the glow moths, still. There's the rest in the asphalt, which is always fun. And uh, let's go down. Which level are we now? Level 5. Okay, the Shrine at Hattam. This might actually be the, the last floor. I think the, um, there's some burning oh, worker ants. Yeah. Scalding steam. I think it's killing itself with the... Oh yeah. Hello. Freeze. Oh, there's a ton of worker ants. No, let's go up for a bit. Wait until the burning ends. Okay. We gained a level from the worker ant. That's great. Mutation point, freezing hands. And let's see. We could get hook and drag. Yeah, that's kind of the next thing, right? Heal for butchery, shield slam, staggering block. I think hook and drag. Let's see, I've never really used that. You grab, grab an opponent's limb with the heel of your axe and pull them towards you. If successful, you pull your opponent with you as you move and make a free attack with your axe. Also to move with you, but, but can attack you while moving. It's a chance to resist the move and a chance to break free at the start of the turn. For nine rounds or until you dismember the opponent. That could actually be kind of cool, like. So we're gonna put that onto five for now. Oh, yeah, it's already at five. Um, oh, jeez. You're gonna come with me. There's a lot of garbage there. Oh dear. There they go. Okay. 
good. We can freeze a bunch of them. Be careful not to get murdered here. Okay, burning, burning. Okay, rest. Gelatinous palm. Oh, it came through the thing, didn't it? A lot of stuff comes through. Kudzus and... And this will just spawn a bunch of stuff. I think it, that's also a betel, isn't it? Yeah. Let's converse with it. Oh, we can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just a bunch of nonsense comes through there. Um... Okay. Yes, come with me. Get murdered. Okay. This at least gives us a ton of experience, so that's good. Fire ants and worker ants. I'm burning. Okay. Rest up. And... Okay. Oh, we got sundered. By the... Thing. Let's take a look at you. Loved by the sect. Disliked by trolls. By, for burning one of their leaders in effigy. Hmm. Python-sized arthropod. Yeah. You look unpleasant. Let's clear that. Oh yeah, that was easy. Dismembered. Left rear foot. I'm gonna eat your foot. It's frozen, but uh, you know, some ice cream. The random point of the Sharamagut quadrangle. What is this? Short blade. Yeah. Fifty percent of the time, the fates have their way. <laughs> Well, let's just get there. It's not something that we can use, but... Hmm, slumbling. Let's open the chest. Some fresh water and a weird artifact. Night vision goggles, cool. That's a gas grenade. No, since we have two faces now... <laughs> that won't become a problem. We don't really need night vision goggles, I think, but... Uh, we could actually, at some point, try to see how they work. Like, if we power them and put them on at night, what happens? Like, how far they let you look and... Uh, or if they... W I mean, they probably work different than light sources, don't they? Maybe they just give you what the... What the night vision mutation does? I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, we can... As I said, we can try that. See what's going on here. Nothing. Nothing. Glow moths. That's what's going on here. Okay. But other than glow moths, nothing. Um, I'm gonna hook and drag you. The rags. Okay. The cool thing is, yes, we can do other stuff while doing that. And. Okay. Clockwork beetle. Oh yeah, the are there spawning clock. So the clockwork beetle could have either. Are you hostile? Yes, you are. The clockwork beetles could have either come through. Don't know if there's a spawner down there. Doesn't seem to be the case. They seem to be coming through. Uh, through the time vortex again. Oops. Uh oh, that thing is actually attacking us. Some freezing, hit it a bit. Decapitated. Hmm. Can we eat that? Ah <laughs> uh, no. Nah. Well, let's drop it then. That's a betel. Yeah. It's an interesting, interesting stuff. The time vortexes, I like them. Okay, there are more clockwork beetles. Wonder if they do spawn from somewhere. Oh no, there's another. That's where they came from. There's another space time vortex thing. Oh, a lot of. What is it? 20 million dust particles.
see what we have here. Cothel Butter, the Viridian Iron Gauntlet. I think we haven't seen that before. On the anniversary of Great Battle, with it, a babe was found swaddled with its mouth full of meta metal <laughs> by a group of dogs in the icicle worshipping aristoc aristocracy of Caramond. The potent progeny of dogs. Oh, well, that's, that's an interesting factoid, I must say. Glomoth. And yeah, this is just, again, going to teleport a bunch of nonsense here. Gelatinous palm. They are marked as tough and hostile. Uh, I'm just gonna freeze them until they die. Let's see. Injured. Yeah, it works. Freezing. They don't move, the gelatinous palms. Well, that's weird. It's wounded. Oh yeah, I always forget that I can actually see that stuff when I'm targeting them. Like how damaged they are, I don't need to look at them. Badly wounded. And dead. Okay, 230. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can use this thing here for a bit to kill some enemies and get some experience, right? Right now nothing is coming through. Let's see what's going on with the other one. That's Betil. And... Yeah, not much more. Okay, whatever. Alright, uh, let's go up. I think we're done here. We have not found a better weapon. Which is irking me just a little. What is this pad here? Oddly hued glow pad. This glow pad seems to be running a small shop. Uh, okay. It's friendly. Can we talk to it? We can begin a water ritual. And uh, we can trade. Carbide shield. That's something I would get. Jaffa recoiler. <laughs> this is cool. This is really cool. Okay, we're gonna get the carbide shield. We found enough nonsense so that we can do that. Let's get rid of a bunch of stuff here. Um... Let's see, what's... We have something that is heavy. Oh yeah, those aren't worth a lot. Let's get rid of those. Come by short sword, yes. Ah, um, that one is worth a lot. Jewel encrusted dagger. Jewel encrusted short bow. Borderlands revolver. Um... And we can do that with the uh, copper nuggets. Just gonna get rid of those as well. And one more. Oh, we don't really have a lot of water anymore, apparently. We have only 24 water? What has happened there? For some reason... Oh no, that was just a nonsense thing. Okay. Um... So, let's remove the wooden buckler, and we're gonna use a carbide shield instead. That's good. <laughs> EMP grenade rusted. Oh yeah, because of the kudzu, all the stuff is rusting, obviously. You know, I'm just gonna attack the gelatinous palm. Just for that sweet, sweet experience. Oh! You're attacking me now. Why are you attacking me now? Are you friends with a gelatinous palm? Can I kill it? I mean, it, it's flagged as impossible, but I can freeze it. Okay. The mark is fine. So it attacks, freeze it again. And we do damage. Still marked as fine. Um, oh, you dismembered it. And chopped off the stem. <laughs> it's still fine. We probably cannot kill it. And it just has a lot of health. The problem is also it's... 
I don't know where it's actually from. Oh yeah, root system. Let's dismember everything here. The problem is I don't know. I decapitated and it's dead. <laughs> okay, that didn't really do anything. That's good. So, um... Let's see. So much for that. Cowboy short sword. Data disk. What is it? Thermal grenade. Uh, I think we cannot... L oh! Well, we don't have that, but we can get the data disk. Um, let's get the camel bladder. Well, that was something. That was something. Okay, so how much water do we have now? Alright. <laughs> that was strange. That was strange. I hope we are not... I'll I wonder if these things are actually coming from somewhere, or if they don't. If they are, like, just generated. Like, I hope this wasn't the merchant from some town. You know? I think... There was... Uh, the the merchant in Kuyakukia was not a glow pad. But... I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. It's running a bit long anyways. And, uh, yeah. I think we're going to make our way north now and try to get to Gridgate. Maybe we're going to do the rusted archway as well. We're going to see. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye.